Hello my beautiful gems. This is Rena Wells and I'm going to be doing your Astana A Spring Equinox reading which is happening on Saturday. All signs will be up um, by Saturday. Um, the last three will be uh, earth signs will be tomorrow. So let's take a look. If you are new to my channel welcome. You'll take a look around if you resonate with this i would love it if you would subscribe please hit the notification bell um i'm returning subscribers you know you know the drill let's get started <laughs> i love you guys i love my subscribers and my new subscribers thank you for all the new ones that are joining me take a look guys at all the other signs so you get a good understanding of your chart here and also um think of your person right now all right who's masculine who's feminine red is masculine black is feminine and this is an old gypsy spread just realize i read intuitively and i read um based on this ancient spread that was given to me gifted to me passed down by a lineage that had no one else to give it to and a lady saw that i had a gift when i was very young my family is not spiritual three six seven yeah my family is not spiritual at all okay i didn't grow up in a religious home and they just denounce god in any possible way but and then comes along rena <laughs> Um, and so, yeah, so God, uh, brought this woman into my life who taught me tarot, who taught me cardology, card, cardamacy, she called it cardology. And, um, yeah, I just, I took off from there. She taught me palm reading. She taught me all kinds of divination stuff. So this is just what I've been doing most of my life. Let's take a look. Let's take a look. Wow. Divine masculine, divine feminine. Divine whoa, whoa, masculine Gemini. This masculine is definitely in his feels for you. You're thinking of the masculine much more than the than the masculine is thinking of you right now. But this masculine, when he is thinking of you, it's all about love and abundance. It's all about wanting to be with you. Okay. So this masculine wants to support you in your mission, in your calling, in your life. Um, really wants to bring this together. There is a separation that's happening right now, okay? Um, so Spirit is saying there is a separation. This masculine may want to gift you something, Gemini, is what I'm seeing. Oh, uh, you getting a house? Are you getting a ring? Are you getting a car? What are you getting? This separation, it's almost like he's gonna, the masculine's gonna gift something to you to end a separation. You've been in a, this structure, whatever you were building before, completely fell apart, okay? Spirit is saying this masculine is aware of the abundance now of who you are to him. This masculine may not have seen it before, may have felt it, but didn't know the extent of how deep this connection really was. But he has gained massive awareness and wants to build with you. He sees the abundance of this. And, and Spirit is saying that that vibration had to fall down to Divine Feminine. Um, you may have walked away. I feel you may have walked away, Gemini. Or you may have said some, some words and said and told him where to go. And then he walked away about however it is that created a separation. So, but this masculine, no matter what, is still massively in love with you. And you're passionately feeling that. And you're really wanting to build this home with him and this foundation with him. There, you're still feeling this betrayal, okay? You're still feeling, um, you're not sure where he's at. But it doesn't even bother you, Gems. I don't feel you guys are too bothered by it what i'm getting is like okay you've accepted the terms it's like yeah uh <laughs> the foundation fell apart separation happened this may have been this may be a couple that's been i need a sip of water guys hang on <clears throat> this may have been something whew, my heart is hurting whew, that you may it's been a little bit since you've been in communication that you've accepted it, Divine Feminine. You're like, yeah, this is what happened. What am I going to do about it? You passionately still feel this connection. Wow, look at this. Two threes, guys. That's Holy Trinity God stuff, okay? This masculine is holding the Divine Union in the 5D and, and feels that with Divine Feminine. And, and Divine Feminine is feeling the passion. So you guys are completely aligned with spirit. That's what I'm feeling here. There's something here that's happening. It's kind of like feminines these feminines or have just accepted what it is and this is the story this was this is all past energy is what i'm feeling and it's just like yeah this is what happened that is the story it is what it is 
I'm just checking up on the energy. That's what I'm getting. Spirit's like, I'm just checking up on the energy, getting, seeing where things are at, and then moving on. Then you're staying in your lane. Yeah, there's been massive changes. Feminines have changed. You gems have changed very quickly. You, you purged, you walked away, you did your healing. You really, this lever, this connection leveraged you up, okay? So you're really focusing on self and it's helped the masculine to heal his heart. He's been healing his heart massively since you've, you had to be a little, you know, tough love, you know? I feel these gems are very much, um, they're showing me the flip of Gemini. You look one way and they think you're that way, but you're another way, <laughs> you know? It's like the two-faced, right? You know how gems get that, right? Geminis. I'm a Gemini rising, so I get it. People think I'm like a sweet and I'm like flighty and I'm like, eh, and I'm like, I had someone at an ayahuasca ceremony tell me that I was ridiculously childish, but they don't, they think I'm not grounded, but then they don't see the other side to me, how I'm a businesswoman, how I built my life, how I'm very intelligent in other ways and like um, scientifically and and stuff like that. So it's like, and cre very highly creative. Like I have, and, but everyone looks at the flightiness and the mystical stuff and just judges that. So Gemini has this aspect and this masculine may have misjudged you, Gemini. This masculine may have misjudged you is what I'm getting. And now they're like, oh damn, hot damn, Gemini is a gem. Let me tell you, cause a lot of uh, dark energies to infiltrate into your, this masculine may have brought drama to you, Gemini. And you're like, I ain't dealing with drama. I ain't dealing with that. And this masculine is realizing the holiness of this abundant connection now. May and, and realize how much this masculine may had to ha, had to have lost money is what I'm hearing, okay? Before he realized because when you reject a divine feminine, when you cross the divine feminine and the divine feminine and karma and and divine feminine is being in that authentic aligned space to God, nobody can touch that. Nobody can touch it. No karmic energy, nothing. They will get their karmic energies for trying to take a divine feminine out of alignment. So that's kind of what happened. This masculine got his karma. I'll tell you that. This masculine got his karma and uh, realized how abundant this feminine was. And you stood your ground and misjudged this feminine. That's what I'm getting, Jones. That's what I'm getting. Let's see what the spring equinox is bringing in similarities for you guys. We're do this three times to get any matching suits. Uh, numbers so yeah you passionately love divine feminine the masculine and the ma as much as the masculine loves you okay who wants to bring down and he wants to give to you now okay that's what i'm seeing really wants to give to you hmm divine feminine passionately feeling the masculine and you're holding space for that passion you're not having expectation you are having holding space for that. You're like, yeah, if he wants to come back, fine. But I'm not, I'm not holding my breath, you know. Um, I'm checking the energies and I'm moving on. But this divine feminine is aware. Gems, you guys are aware of what's happening. This and you and I feel Gemini. People just misjudge you that way, you know, because you you put out a certain energy. When you meet people and they they just um, automatically assume that's how you are. And I mean, I know that happens to everyone, but it seems to happen with Gemini a lot that they get miss it's just your sign right so this masculine feels like a bit of an ass i'm gonna just say that okay yeah it, there was a betrayal uh uh picking maybe somebody else over you over money choosing money over you um i'm feeling it may have been that thinking that you may have wanted something from this masculine just like all the other women in his life is what i'm getting spirit is saying just want something from him and so he was shady with you because it's, it's too good to be true. That's what I'm getting. This masculine was like, this is just too good to be true. Like, that's no way. She must want something from me. And I feel like he questioned it. But now he's gained the clarity. Now he's in love with you. Queen of Cups. Queen of Cups. Queen of Hearts here. I'm reading tarot. Queen of Heart loves you. Loves the Divine Feminine. Divine Feminine yeah, you betrayed my ass. Like what? I... You forgiven, but you're not letting it affect you, Divine Feminine. You're like, yeah, and like, I love you, but you need to come clean now. This Divine Masculine knows he has to level up. Oops. This Divine Masculine knows that he has to level up. This is why there's, uh, he's contemplating how to come forward. That's really what I'm getting. This Masculine is, yeah, exactly the same. That communication, fives are communication and change to communicate the change. And that's what's happening. 
okay? Wanting to communicate the change because the divine feminist was a betrayal and now this masculine is changing his heart and saying, damn, I need to communicate that. I see this now. I get it now. I'm... I can't believe I did that. He he put you in line, Divine Feminine, with all the other women, you know? That's what they do. It's like, oh, she just looks so she's like old. It's like he's had a massive betrayal with other women. So if there was a karmic situation, I feel that's been cut off as well. I'm not seeing any karmic energies coming up for you guys at all. So this karmic energy has healed between you guys. Now it's just to, it's almost like you're both in a waiting game. Let's clarify. It's almost like you guys are just waiting. <laughs> like, who's going to take the next step? I know you won't divide. <laughs> Hold on. Let's, let's take a sip of water and clarify. It's like you're both stalking each other. That's what I'm getting. You're both looking at each other. Not like obsessively. You're both feeling each other. Look at this. He loves you. That just popped up. King of Cups. So, King of Cups. King of Hearts. But it's like, uh, it's just... Yeah, this masculine is definitely just, you're both just eyeing each other up. It's like, in my you eye up, you're eyeing it up, you're eyeing it up. You're like, what is going on? So I feel this masculine just is a peacekeeper and may just be friends with the karmic. If there was a karmic, is just being friends right now, but that's going to die out for some of you. Okay, let's take a look and clarify. Let's clarify these energies, shall we? All right, let's take a look. We have here this queen. He didn't see the abundance in the divine feminine. This is masculine energy, right? This is feminine. Feminine passionately loves this masculine, okay? He didn't see the abundance in her. He sees it now. He recognizes the abundance here. He's ending, um, and feminine is ending any cycles of, uh, and passionately ending cycles that have kept her stuck in this in this lifetime, okay? You're feeling, um, Spirit is saying very long cycles. You've been healing the cycle maybe up to 10 years for some of you guys that you've been on this healing uh, family patterns and hearing family lineage. You've been healing a lot. And that's really helping this man. He's balanced. He wants his feminine and to give to this feminine. He really wants to come forward, Divine Feminine. Wow, Gemini. Wow. Because of the betrayal. You know because of this betrayal, you are not going to come towards him. This masculine has to make it right. Okay, this masculine, let's clarify the seven of swords. This masculine, seven of, um, it's not seven of swords, seven of spades. I'm too much in my tarot head today. Yeah, it created the separation here, okay? Twos are about coming together or separating apart. So it's energy is moving in linear fashion. So that's what the twos are, duality. And so it caused, but you've ended that cycle, Divine Feminine. It caused a separation. Clarify how the masculine is feeling about that. Like, he's just feeling bad about it, to be honest. I really feel that. Yeah, yeah. It caused him to not see the abundance in the Divine Feminine, okay? It was about abundance, so... Yeah, but now he does. <laughs> we have two eights, guys. This betrayal and everything that happened did not see the feminine. It's clarifying everything that I just channeled, okay? So eights are about abundance. So did not see, and the swords, uh, the swords, the... the the spades are about the underworld, okay? So do not see the abundance of the divine feminine. Black is the divine feminine, right? So you got to remember all the symbolism when you read these kinds of cards. So the, the and the, but the divine, I'm sorry, I shouldn't laugh, but it's kind of like, damn, you know, when you look back and you're like, oh, I, I, I messed up. I effed up. I messed up. Oh my God. And he sees it now. He, he's going to come and gift you something. He's going to make it right, Divine Feminine. He's, he's going to make it right. He's going to make it right. Okay, I promise. This Divine Feminine is sitting here passionately loving him, but doing her own thing, being in her own lane, li living her life, okay? You're leaving this open for Divine Masculine to come in here, okay? Um, you feel that he might be seeing, and you're okay. I feel like you're like, if he's going to date other people, let him go figure his, because figure his stuff out this divine feminine is like i am not taking him back this is this is betrayal stuff i am not taking back dark energy into my life he needs to go out and sow his wild oats let him do that because i feel this masculine may have been in some very serious relationships and never had time for themselves and was betrayed by women a lot so this this feminine is building her coin building her life 
building her own structures, dealing with her own life, and leaving things open here for this divine masculine to figure his stuff out. Clarify that Jack, please. That's usually his third party, yeah. He may be looking at other people, but nothing compares to divine feminine. That's what I'm getting. He may go on a date or two, but nothing's going to solidify. He's changed too much. Exactly. His, his foundation is with divine feminine. His heart is with divine feminine. He wants to build a structure of love. So that's exactly what I'm saying. King of, King of hearts here, see? He loves divine feminine. So he may be going on a, you know, casual thing here or there, but it ain't nothing. And he, it's just refocusing him deeper into divine, to towards the divine feminine. We have the two sixes here, okay? Six is about sex. All about sex and physical manifestation. So there was a betrayal here either in sex or in the uh, physical manifestation of this love connection, okay? Let's take a look and see what the what Spirit is saying. Yeah, there had to be, the foundation was broken apart because of this um, energy that came down. But it's all in the past. Spirit is, I think Spirit is bringing this up because, yeah, this masculine may have chosen, you know, uh, to put his money into sexual endeavors elsewhere, like uh, using his money to like um, wine and dine other women and blah, 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 and all of that stuff. And as far as like, that's all changing now too. So this is coming together in a very abundant way, monetary way, in a physical way. So um, all of that betrayal is done now. Both of you are, are done with this. Yeah. You're passionate, too, that if somebody shows up, I feel it's divine feminine. It's just like, if something shows up for me, I'll take it. I'll explore it. You're just open. You're just open. You have jacks as well, too. You're looking at um, passionately of, of, of different partners and different energies and getting clear. And you may not really be serious about dating, but you're open to people's energies coming in. You being mindful of it. And then you being, ah, I don't know, if does that feed my foundation? Does it not feed my foundation? Bye. You're just getting refocused. You're both doing the same thing. You both are mirroring very closely. You're being open and receptive in that divine feminine energy, which is really beautiful. So we have here, oh, let me just, something's going on with my camera. Just give me a second. Sorry, guys, there's notification blocking the vision of the, and I didn't know what that was, but it's fine now. So, yeah, Divine Masculine is really loving on this feminine, okay? This feminine is like, like, I'm feeling you and I love you, but she's focused on herself, okay? Yeah, a cycle of monetary lack mentality is happening here with Divine Masculine, okay? He wants to focus on family. His masculine wants a family. He wants babies. He wants to start a solid foundation, Divine Feminine here is being guided passionately through any any lack, any remnants of betrayal from this connection, any last little bit of anger. I don't feel you're suffering anymore, Divine Feminine. Look at this, 10, 10. This masculine is really closing off cycles, getting ready to come forward, okay? Lots of 10s coming through in these all of these readings, to be honest. Um, yeah, and this Divine Feminine here is really saying, look, like it's, any last remnants of any type of betrayal spirits like helping divine feminine to move through it swiftly okay divine masculine wants to make love to you <laughs> that's that card that came out the six of six of hearts he wants to make love to you all day divine feminine yeah passionately and she's feeling the passion with that and wants to bring that passion together okay so wow 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 let's take a look here at what is wanting to communicate with each other about the betrayal about change his heart changing to my masculine heart is changing holding the abundant energy of spirit to bring in abundance for divine feminine beautiful you both want to change you both want to talk okay nine uh, wow wanting to build a structure of love wanting abundance look at the hearts oh my god this masculine is in love with you, Gemini. Ooh, hoo, hoo. Wow, that feels so nice. That feels so nice. Yeah, this five. Look at the three fives. Ending of cycles. Three fives. Can't make that up. Three fives, guys. Really wanting to passionately communicate and talk to each other. Really six. six. We had another sixes. Oh, I thought the six was here. No. Passionately want to make love, Divine Feminine. I want to make love to you. So these energies are really building up here for both parties. Look at this passion. New beginnings. Yeah, beautiful. Beautiful gems.
beautiful it's just a matter of time before this masculine just finally comes forward to be honest but he's watching you all right so whatever's happened on your social media that shit's going down that masculine is like i want that i want that i want that woman i'm watching you and so just stay open keep healing keep moving forward let's see what energies are coming up for the viewer please spirit for gemini sun moon rising venus and north node make sure you guys watch once for yourself once from the perspective of your person and then also for your union energies also make sure that you like this if you've been watching this far please hit the like it doesn't take long and it really helps my channel to grow which is your one little your one little like really helps me <laughs> it really does so thank you for that and if you feel pulled to subscribe that would even even more make my day look at this what am i saying you guys oh this one wants to come to you guys are calling each other in calling in your soulmate you're both calling each other in you guys have had many past lives together okay soulmate wow 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 this is your soulmate this is your person this is heart to heart conversations you guys need to talk and work these things out this is true love oh my god oh my god what is this true love talking healing family issues and romantic feelings yeah you guys are ready to come together it's almost just a stand not a standoff it's not even it's just as masculine as just watching and observing the energy as well so you just keep holding that vibe okay feminines the masculine is getting ready to come forward and this feminine is very open and receptive two things okay so let's see what portal energies are opening up with us data please with spring equinox that's coming in what energies are coming in please for gems my beautiful gems what is going on for gemini sun moon rising and venus and north no thank you what portals are coming in spirit for gemini sun moon rising venus yeah i can't make this up guys it's exactly what I'm saying. Your union energy is coming in here. Okay. Oh, wow. This is my twin flame card here to one of my twin flame cards in this deck. Starting fresh. You're starting fresh. This is it. Okay. There's a brand new beginning spirits coming in. It's awakening the ancient wisdom between you, Gemini. Massively awakening the new energies. Uh, the twin flame energy, which is ancient. It's old, old energy. Twin flame is not a new concept. If you look at anything in ancient text, Taoism, if you read Taoism, I've read like so many things. Um, and you look at the balance of, of uh, the energies of before religion, go beyond Hinduism. If you go into the ancient tribes, you go into ancient Egypt, everything talks about this ancient wisdom of twin flames. It's a thing, you know? So spirit is like, you're just, both of you are finally just cleaning up the last remnants of your life. Start creating space, Gemini. When you clean your home and you prepare a new home, it gives that signal out to the universe that you're ready for fresh, for something new. I got to do that this weekend. My place is a friggin' disaster, let me tell you. Anyway, so <laughs> spirit is Thanks for the reminder, God. So Spirit is saying here, Gemini, look, cherish yourself. This is going to bring union energies in. This is going to bring this connection in. Take care of yourself. Love yourself. You're doing You're doing it. You're doing it. This is, I mean, look at these cards that came out. This is what Spirit's bringing through with the spring equinox with Ostana. It's beautiful. Spring is always a fresh start. Starting fresh. You know, really beautiful. Let's see, Spirit, what other messages do you have for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node, please? What is going on with Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Thank you. And North Node. Final messages. Wow. Yep. Wow. Yep, 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 yep exactly so go the distance both of you want to go the distance in this connection it's a number 47 which is 11 master number it is time to leave the old vibration behind which is a 45 which is a nine so you're very close to ending a cycle here okay gems that's what i was saying right just cleaning up don't get distracted stay in your lane this is like a lane stay in your lane okay we have here that there the chaos and conflict that this they're telling you to take all these three together do we have a 33 a a 12 and a one so we have a three three holy trinity stuff okay with a one masculine energy 
chaos and conflict, change of wind, of wind, massive change coming because there's been massive conflict and chaos. Um, this identity, this zebra was pretending to be something else. This masculine realized what happened, right? Realize the big mistake, right? And now things are changing and we have the two. And, and it's funny because they're both zebras. Like they're both, this just has giraffe spots on it, you know? But realizing he's like, wait a minute, this isn't me. This is me. I need to change. I didn't realize my feminine that this is so deep. Oh my God, I am my feminine. We are the same person. This masculine has realized that. He's coming to this manifestation yang energy. You got the divine masculine card in this deck. So <sighs> beautiful read, Gemini. Beautiful read. Please hit the like. Please hit the notification. Subscribe. You want to work with me? Take a look down below. And I'm sending you guys so much love. Bye, guys.